hello. Um, 2017, welcome. First Facebook Live of the year. Um, I am live and um, yeah, it's a little bit chaotic. I'm in a different room to the room I'm normally in and I am at risk of being um, discovered by my family um, because I've just got in like that. Um, hi James, <laughs> go to bed James. Um, <laughs> so uh, yeah, I've just, um, just uh, I've come home, just finished operating and uh, I've been thinking about um, I'll be up soon, Jack. I'll be up. <laughs> Just go to, it's, I'll tell you. I'll tell you who it is later. Um, oh, <laughs> so um, I've been thinking a little bit about plans for plan planning for next year. I, we make a we have a meeting every quarter. Well, we actually have a meeting every week, um, but it starts with a. A, an annual meeting. So around this time every year, we have a meeting where we discuss, just talk about our annual priorities, um, <clears throat> and then we break that down to quarterly priorities. And every quarter, we have a meeting to see how we're getting on with our quarterly priorities, and we have a week meeting every week to see how we're getting on with our each week towards our quarterly priorities. If that makes sense, and it's interesting uh, planning for things because I think it's uh, something that, to be honest with you, I never did it before I had a clinic um, when I was just a normal doctor working. Um, and I think a lot of doctors don't do it. They just work and work. But it's uh, really interesting making plans because you've got to decide where you want to go and what your goals are. And um, I was just reflecting on something I spoke about last, well, it wasn't last week, was it last time, that nine-minute boo job thing. Um, and I know that there are a lot of very busy clinics where they do a lot of work and they get through a lot of work and that can be perceived to be good and I think it is good to have experience in a in an operation but I just think about the operating list I've just done just now um, when I've done two quite difficult cases um, and they needed quite a bit of thought and quite a bit of planning um, I had to adjust the inframammary fold I had to put different sized implants in um, one was quite challenging anatomy so there was quite a lot of things that I'd planned when I'd seen the patient in the clinic and I'd written them down and I made notes on them. But um, I don't know how I could have done that if I'd done an operating list with, you know, 10 patients on it. So I think um, the sort of current level of operating, I, I don't really want to ex exceed my level of operating significantly now. And I just want to work on building on the quality and building on the clinic. And it's great that we've got Effie at the clinic now, who uh, is my colleague. In fact, she took over for me when I worked in the NHS. Um, um, and um, and uh, she's working with me at the clinic now, and that's great. Um, and that's really where I want to expand. Um, um, she's got a lot of experience of the local anaesthetic and sedation, which is something we've had a great experience in. Um, I did a case before Christmas, um, quite a significant case, significant gynecomastia over a litre of liposuction um, and the local anaesthetic and sedation. And it was brilliant, absolutely brilliant. So um, um, we've, we've got quite an experience now at the clinic of uh, performing surgery under local anaesthetic and sedation. We've done tummy tucks, lift, breast lifts, um, uh, liposuction, uh, gynecomastia correction, so uh, that's definitely something that we want to look at in, two, in the next 2017. We want to look at promoting that. Um, working on the team, Tish has left, which is a um, big hole to fill, so we've got to, we've got to look at, um, well, we're very lucky that we've got a lot of nurses locally that we know <coughs> because of the um, because I've worked in quite a few hostels around the region, so we've got a lot of people that we can call on. Um, but um, that, that's that's a, a big push for 2017. Um, uh, I've just seen a question flash up. It wasn't actually on the um, on here, but it was from 
um, about payment plans. Yeah, we do often pay uh, off payment plans. Two options: one, you can have a payment plan where you can pay in installments uh, and pay in full prior to the procedure, or if you want to have credit, then this that's organised through the hospitals that I work in, um, and they offer 0% finance for 12 months. But obviously, you have to be um, uh, cleared for that. Um, and um, yeah, so that, that's that's something we can you know, definitely give you information on. And if you are, what I'll do is I'll get Laura to. Facebook you back tomorrow to talk about that um, so yeah so plans for 2017 I think local anesthetic and sedation is going to be something that we're going to look at uh, introducing uh, building on the team it's fantastic we've got Effie um, we're looking at that we're also going to look at uh, doing Saturday clinics we're looking at doing regular uh, cons free consultation events um, uh, Panic not, panic not. There you go, back in. Um, regularly, we, we've done them ad hoc. We're looking at doing them maybe every month, maybe have it set so we have it at certain months. Um, There's quite a lot in the pipeline. <laughs> and, um, and I'm looking at doing my Facebook Q&A at 7 o'clock every Tuesday, but not in this room. Not coming back into this room, that's for sure. Uh, um, so, yeah. So, if you've got any questions, as always, you do email me or or um, email Laura. It would be better, or get a hold of me through Facebook. Be very happy to answer your questions next week, seven o'clock. Be there. Um, I'll be in another room here, or I'll be at work. And uh, very much looking forward to it. And I thought it too good to be, be true to try and do it on this comfy sofa here. So um, I better go before they come in. Uh, they're just outside the door. Um, and uh, happy new. Oh, I mean, said it. Happy new year. Beardless. Got a beardless look. Look at the state of that. Uh, looking youngster. Looking youngster. And um, I will see you on the other side uh, next week. I'll see you next week on the same side. Okay, bye.